Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. And welcome back to the beat of plans. We return to the manner of madness estate. And we're heeding our call for heroes of four people over here Jack K. Anderson. A man that turned away from the path of darkness and was kind of forced to turn to the ways of light, which shows, well, in his quirks, after all, he is a kleptomaniac, but he's also a warrior of light. On top of that, he's God-fearing. Hmm, alright. This man also said, by the way, that he would roleplay his character in the comments below, and I am all for that. I love it, indeed. And that doesn't mean, however, that if you are a character on our squad, that you have to put something down in the comments. I won't force you. But if you do, by all means, go ahead. I love it. Now, Jack K. Anderson is paired up with Jack Douglas. Uh, well, this is a Jack that actually is featured in some of my Smite videos. So, and he said, well, that he is well familiar with the paths that lie ahead of us. And as of course, we gave him a what, somewhat experienced adventure. However, he, I think that he got some form because he kind of cheats, you know, but he does have quick reflexes and a hard nugging. Eh. Then Jokerman, who first told me he wanted to be a jester, but later on he contacted me personally and said he actually wanted to be a plague doctor. Of course, we will provide, and there he then is. We will just blindly ignore that, uh, well, <clears throat> Blake Doctors, normally the character is female with names like Tilly and what have you not. But alright, he is tough, which is, uh, mm, you'd rather see that, on, for instance, on uh, a man-at-arms, or at least a character with high HP pool than on oh, a low HP base class. And uh, he's a lurker, he actually does more damage below, with low mm, torchlight, which is unlike Jack Anderson. Nor is this really what you want on a Plague Doctor, because, well, you kind of use Noxious Blast and Plague Grenade if you can do it. So, eh, and uh, unfortunately, also, mine is crit, but then again, once again, you don't tend to use that a lot on the Plague Doctor, so, mm. But it is always good for a little bit of stress relief. And then we have Kalsen. Yes, Joker Man may have turned from... A man to a joker to a plague doctor. This is a cow to man turned a vessel. And why have I made him this person? Well, he was the second one to react, and I wanted him therefore on the first team. And thus, we, we have our lady Kelson. Once again, son and female, and uh, seems to be a female in this party. Alright, time to do our first dungeon, and let us embark. We have no choice for the matter, so we are gonna go with the usual suspect. And I'm not making a joke about that. Yeah, that is when you have a certain type of team uh, coming together. So this is a short mission, so we won't have any... Uh, the cost of preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood. A short dungeon means we won't have to camp out, but of course, if we do talks, I have to shut my mouth. After all, he is uh, a little bit more professional than I am. Just to say the least. Um, let's do four torches. Uh, oh, we already have one. Uh, this is a ruins, right? Uh, let's just do one key, one herb, and... Mm, what's in the ruins? Perhaps two bandages? Let's do two bandages. Um, alright. Now, I know something of this game, but I'm not very familiar with all the curios and exactly what you use, which could be extremely detrimental, and perhaps I'm under-preparing right now for a short dungeon, but... Well, if that is the case, then, well, we're already fucked over, but I kind of want to keep my money because, well, I would like to upgrade immediately people's equipment, or unlock a few skills, because, well, we do have the best of skills here, in my opinion. For instance, for the Highwayman, I kind of want close uh, quarters combat shadow. I don't know, know exactly what it is called, but... And, for instance, Dualist Advance. So, yeah. But let us first see what's up in this dungeon. Ooh. Free torch. A fortune waiting to be spent. Well, well, Jane. Wait, that is a little bit over-exaggerating, isn't it? One 
porch. Ooh, this is an easy fight. Um, yeah, your blight chance is really low, but I think with just an incision, it might also be good. Ooh, minimal damage. All right, too bad. And of course, he resists the bleed because, well, they're skeletons. Kind of hard to bleed a skeleton. Um, well, you never ever want a person not to do anything because if you do, you take extra stress, and you want to really keep the stress low if you're not familiar with this guy. Executed girl. with impunity. Wait, uh, you want to keep the stress low because if your stress gets all the way up to a hundred, not a victory uh, nonetheless. You uh, get a heart attack and lose all your HP. All right. Oh my, and we didn't even have a shovel. So, that's pretty freaking awesome. I just realized I didn't bring a shovel with me, and there is a blockade. Okay, I am pretty freaking lucky. I'll admit. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Oh, shoot, we forgot to uh, put our torchlight uh, up. Yeah. Uh, what's the fast key for this, actually? I don't even know. I should look that up. Right. But we now we do actually have some extra loot and extra player crits, and we did surprise them, so I'm kind of okay with this. And I kind of want to kill her, because she gives stress, and I think that's our biggest problem right now. Can't hit the back line with this. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, not with, but the plate grenade we can actually. Four damage per round. How much HP? A uh, five. Well, shoot. I wish I'd. We do have zealous accusation. Would that kill you? Never. All right, so that's a bad idea in that case. Mm, we don't get the weak guy. Kind of had hoped that so that he would die, and then, well, that didn't happen. Stressful incantation, 18 stress. Bump in the night, that's okay. And a graveyard slash. Well, at least some of Vesta has something to do. Kalsen was getting bored, I would reckon, there in the back line. Oh, you finish this off? As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. That one is also dead, and, uh, well, I don't... I can't even target him from here, okay, so... Another abomination. Cleansed from our lands. Apparently Jack is like, we don't need no heals. Heals is for sissies. Alright. Alright. Another bit of scouting. If we could get a secret room already, that would be awesome. Room battle with treasure and room battle with curio. Um, we gotta go up here first. Ooh. Uh-oh. The other Jack is doing a little bit of kleptomania. Oh no, man, we really want that onyx. Uh, early game, that's really bad. He took an onyx of us and a key. I don't know what he wants to do with that, but... The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Yeah, that kleptomania. Not very nice. Alright. Uh, let's start again with a... Uh... The ground quakes. But yeah, that's why crit doesn't really matter on a Plague Doctor. That's why I really don't like Jokerman's abilities right now. Another stressful incantation. Oh! Terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Um... Take it easy with us! It's like a low-level dungeon. Oh, I should have shot her. And that's also a bleeding skill, I think. Yep, but he resists. Awesome. Um, actually, we're all a little bit hurt. Yeah, but you are... Good choice, then. Um, Zealous Exorcization will probably kill him. Four, right? Yeah, but how much bleed do you take? Two. So you would survive. That's not good then. Zealous Excusation, it is. Give them no quarter. Ooh, nice. 
Doesn't move me near death. The yep. Death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. There we go. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Oh, we know, Wade. We know. I will not do that. We're going to make a key and Finding get ourselves. only the first test. Now it must be carried home. And uh, you know what? Um, I hit the wrong button. It's just a little bit. Oh, actually, now I went under. I thought we had picked up some food. Well, that's enough for one uh, food activation, so that should be fine. Alright, let's move to the next room. Ooh, it's a trap. Um, probably the highwayman, because you probably have the highest chance. 90%, 60, 50, 60. Yeah, by far. Thank you. Some stress relief. Always nice to have. And... Uh, well, we could actually... What am I doing? You know, for stress relief, let's get down here and disarm this trap as well. It's like you have to be close enough to be able to do it. Oh, wait a second. I'm dumb because now I... Oh, uh, well, you know what? We'll just do this room as well. Walking backwards, you see, that costs you a little bit of extra stress. So I really shouldn't do that. Ooh. That, I think, can give quite a buff without you having to add anything to it. Well, let's start again, once again, with the play grenades. Get the ranged person from the back gone. And that, uh, most of the stress on Jack is gone. And in the first few dungeons, we probably do want to, well, get a lot of rooms and want to, we'll make the most out of them. So this is a tougher battle because they have two mm, mm, skeletons with swords here. Um, that's unfortunate, to say the least. Cowson, keeping us in the battle. Um, well, put another play grenade. That should be able to kill him then. Is the weapon that cuts on its own. Probably should have done actually a slash. Should have checked that. Ooh. Holy heck, Jokerman! You are being targeted! I am targeting this guy and not this. I know this is a risk. But yeah, this is what I hoped for. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Thank you very much. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. I think this is just a good holy fountain activation, right? Glittering gold. Trinkets and baubles. You, I'm a paid for in blood. Apparently confusing two things for one another. Uh, well, this is a curio, but I'm not gonna walk all the way down this hallway and then walk back. That is getting a little, a little too crazy, even for me. Oh, I didn't pay attention. I should have actually used my W key. All right, then. And we have such a small dungeon as. Oh no, Jack! Laden with loot. Dude, you just took our first freaking. He took our very first trinket. Okay, I'm starting to get really annoyed with Jack K. Anderson over here. And there is the food activation. Which is why I kept a little bit. Well, we could go back to the Hamlet, but we're going to stay for just getting the last room. And you know what? Let's just pop the Holy Waters. There you go, because it gives you quite a bit of buff for resistances. Um, and actually, food-wise... Oh, there's an obstacle over there. Do we, do we still have a shovel? No, we don't. Then it's pointless to go there. Now we're just gonna give stress. We'll just complete the quest in that case. And 
this could have been quite a bit more if Jack and Kane Douglas one was on our team. Donald, he took a lot. He took a trinket and he took an onyx. Among some other things that we could use in between, but oh, fragile. That's bad. Natural eye. Uh, intense craving for alcohol. Uh oh. I think I know where Joker Man is going to get his stress relief. <sighs> Trouble yourself not with the cost of this crusade. Its noble end affords you broad tolerance in your choice of means. Yes, it perhaps it does, but well, luckily our very first mission we did was quite good in the amount of money that we received, but Yowza Kleptomaniac! That's bad for your first few. But uh, let us first see which... Whoever rides the stagecoach, we have an abomination! And I know exactly who's going to get that. A real-life friend of mine, actually. So we'll take him. Tortured and reclusive. This man is more dangerous than he seems. Indeed. And I don't think I have a single person that wanted a houndmaster. But, uh... A lawman and his faithful beast. A bond forged by battle and bloodshed. And then we have our grave robber over here. To those with a keen eye, gold gleams like a dagger's point. Thank you very much. And let us see what we unlocked. Well, we unlocked the tavern. Kegs, cards, and curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and broken alike. Yes, indeed. And the caretaker is here drinking already. Well, thank you. And... The cobwebs have been dusted, the pews set straight. The Abbey calls to the faithful. Yes, because as we continue in a few weeks, we are going to unlock other things. Also, like the guild uh, over here, we really want the blacksmith. And, uh, well, the other one that I might want to have is the survivalist for some nice camping skills. But it's later when we get bigger stuff. Actually, the sanitarium would be good to unlock. Sanitarium, guild, and blacksmith, but mainly these two. And for the next uh, round, uh, round, uh, well, um, we're probably gonna try and incorporate our new people, but there is some trouble with that, and let me show you why. Uh, let me just remove Jack for a moment. He will not have normally a problem with that. Jack the Fragile, which is not really what I wanted to see. But, uh, yeah, let's put him on Abomination here, and let's see what happens. Yeah, I will not serve this creature, I will not serve this creature. Um, he is so special that our holy people will not work together with the dude. Oh, yeah, that could be a problem because we don't have yet our uh, non-fateful healer, an occultist. But that is all something we are going to have to figure out in the next episode. I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.